guys, and welcome back to Latin Nation. And I'm really excited to have today's special guest, Ana Luque. She's a nutritionist and wellness coach, and she's also the author of The Yogurt Diet. So, Ana, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Now, I love being here. Just right off the bat, I want to ask you, what does a nutritionist wellness coach actually do? Um, so, a nutritionist focuses on a person's nutrition. And we look at the different ailments or imbalances that you have in the body, and we focus on rebalancing your body with uh, diet and also some herbs. And in terms of the coaching, uh, we, we're there holding your hand to make sure that uh, mentally you can follow through the whole program and protocol. Now, something that I found really interesting about your approach is that you addressed sort of the mind, the body, the spirit, all of these different elements that are going to affect um, different ailments that we might have. So what, how do you, wh how do you, what is your process exactly? I mean, do you ask people questions about their lifestyle, about their habits, behavioral eating, is a, a little bit of everything? Right, yeah, it, you know, health encompasses everything. It's not just, you know, eat vegetables and, you know, fruits and the right types of fats, and then you're going to be healthy. We carry a lot of um, emotions from when we are children, and a lot of that can actually stop the flow of energy in the body. It can even hamper digestion. Um, so we focus a lot on, your, uh, on any, di uh, on any um, emotional issues that you may be dealing with, you know, maybe relationships, or, you know, whether it's with family or you know, an, an, an intimate relationship. And then we try to uh, touch upon that to... I, I'm already, I have to cut in here because I mean, like, I have never been able to lose like, my belly. You know, okay. and I exercise, I eat right, you, you know, yeah, no, well, no, go, go, do it again, do it right here, do it right here, do it right here, do it right here. Do it right here. He's just trying to show oh. off now. That's no, no, I already do right here, like, the, I have the belly and love, have yeah. the love. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm just wondering, you, no, but I'm seriously, going. hey, guys, you know, I'm not fishing for a compliment, like, I'm serious, is it, like, emotional blockage, you know, uh, that, that I can't lose, like, you know, the belly fat, is, is it something emotional, or am I just, like, eating too much red meat? No, that's probably more d your digestion. We hold a lot mm. in here if our digestion is not proper. Right. So usually your small intestine, your colon, the large intestine, and then that's where yogurt comes in very handy. Now, yogurt or fiber? Because I hear fiber gets everything out, but then you need yogurt because that's good bacteria. It helps everything. Right. Yogurt is for digestion. Fiber is to eliminate. So first you need to digest, you know, process everything, and then you need to eliminate. So yogurt would really help. I can look at your tongue and see what's going on. <laughs> your, your, your colon is a little bit off. Yeah? So, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, my colon is, I was afraid of that. How, how, how do, what about Latinos? I mean, us as Latinos, we, uh, we don't have necessarily the best diets at home. You know, our, our parents like to cook, fry things, and put everything right. in heavy oil. What, what are some things that Latinos should take care of, especially since diabetes is rising amongst uh, us at a, at a larger rate? Right, well, you know, fried foods are not so bad. Okay, everybody thinks that fried, you know, we should stay away from it, right. So we're off the hook. It, right, <laughs> however, however, you have to see what oils you're using to, to fry your food. So if you're using, for example, an olive oil or coconut oil, uh, and also depending on how high you turn on the heat mm -hmm. in the oil, those are elements that are going to affect the, the healthy, um, you know, nutrients. For example, French fries. You know, I love French fries. Mm -hmm. I have French fries at least three times a week. Wow. And people wow. think, well, isn't that so unhealthy? You know, potatoes are healthy. And then if I fry them in olive oil, olive oil is healthy. Uh, so th that combination is not unhealthy. I'm afraid I'm going to be eating like fried French fries with olive oil like every day now, and I'm going to come back here like next week, like bloated as hell. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not. Um, it's when we use processed oils, hydrogenated oils. That's what starts to uh, affect our digestion and our health, and then that's when we start ballooning up. But you know, as Latinos, if we fry things, you know, I'm Spanish. I love chorizo, you know, fried calamari, mm. and all that stuff. Who doesn't? That, right. No, I lived in Spain for a year, and oh. I, did, I gained weight. I gained weight, because I you was gained eating weight? bocadillos, jamón serrano. I know, I, I don't, I, I did. And okay. so it wasn't until I came back, but I think it, I was. She I, almost broke 100 pounds. <laughs> well, it was, prob funny, it was funny. probably healthy weight, though. You probably needed it. Where did you put it on? 
It was sexy uh, weight. Down here. Yeah, right. I wanted it up here, but it was really just kind of right Listen, here. Listen, you look beautiful just the way you are. Well, thank you so much, but we're gonna, thank you. We're gonna, so do you, by the way. We're gonna continue this. Uh, now, coming up after the break, we're gonna have Venezuelan comedian Francisco Ramos. We're gonna have more with Ana Luque right here on Latin Nation. Coming up, Venezuelan funny man Francisco Ramos. You look healthy. There's definitely somebody taking care of you. Yeah, no, no, no? nobody is. No? You want to take? Okay, I like this. I like this. <laughs> Only on Latin Nation.